If I had to pick a project that was probably simple and wonderful little project to give away to someone, and we carved one very similar, but uh, it would be the little Dahlia horse. Now we carved a little Dahlia horse, but it was a more of a different form. Uh, this is a this is another one right here. And I like this form more than I like the other one because the other one had more of the horse's face, but this is more of a flat type deal here with a little mane and stuff. And they're easy to make. They're great little gifts and they're a lot of fun to do. Now, this is a little bit bigger one right here. But this is simply carved out of three-quarter inch uh, basswood. And if you have some scrap, you can make these little miniature Dahlia horses. And they are just, to me, wonderful little gifts that you can give to friends or to family or, or things like that. Actually, they're Swedish folk horses is what they are. But to me, something simple, like that, especially for children, for other people like that, these are wonderful little projects. And I try to I, I search a lot for simple projects. Now we we carved the, the little the other dolly horse, but it was a little bit more difficult. This was this is really very, very simple the way it's created. And it's just a good looking piece when you get through with it. So, for our simple project this weekend, we're going to do one of these little Dahlia horses, or Swedish folk horses. And this one, like I said, the other one was a little bit, and three quarter inch piece of wood, I think we had to carve that one out of one and a half or one and a quarter or something like that. But this is three quarter inch wood, and it is a wonderful little piece when you get through carving. It really is. So I'm just putting the middle lines here. All right. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to start flattening this out in here. Because basically, The head is not very wide. I just like this style of the, the way the Dahlia horse is made, or the Swedish folk horse. And we're going to get this head down pretty thin. Good clean basswood from Hinkle. Let me tell you something, folks. If you get your bass for that H E I N C K E, Hinkle Wood, and I'm pronouncing that right. I may not be pronouncing it just right, but they're on the internet. It's your best bass wood. I'm going to tell you something. These guys, their bass wood is excellent to carve with. And I like to have good bass wood to show you how to carve. I've gotten some bad stuff, folks. Believe me, I've gotten some bad stuff. I bought some from a guy individually that really turned. And what it was, it was not, it was green, is what it was. And and I 
I, I carved with it anyway, but still it was, a, it was miserable to carve with because it was uh, not dried, it was poor. And see, just see how that cuts through there. Now, these are real, real simple to do. They're real simple to You get them really pretty thin. You really do. You work out. Now I want to take, I want to just come in, in a little bit in here. Whoa. Excuse me. And make a little cut in there. Kind of give it that, there it is, see? Let's give it that horse's look right there. Not real strong, just. Right there, okay. We'll thin that up a little bit in there. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. See what kind of gives the... Okay. I am dropping everything, folks. I dropped my pencil. I have dropped everything. All right, you see how... Now the tail... Let me move this. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff over and dropping everything. Y'all think I've been drinking. Okay. There's the tail. Now, of course, the tail will be thinned out which we're going to do right now. We'll start go ahead and work on that a little bit. We're going to follow the tail like this on both sides. And our wood will be removed from the tail. Just do like this, in other words. Same thing here. And I, I, I really search hard to find good, simple projects for people. Not that I don't want them to advance in their carving, but I want them to be able to have projects that they can sit down and have fun. Uh, they have... Um, I'm sure a lot of carvers have carved these Swedish folk horses. And like I said, the last one, but this one only requires about three-quarter inch wood. You can get it from Hinkle. I'm saying his name wrong. I apologize. Or Hinky or... Anyway, doesn't matter. He's on the internet. Or go to my blog, Flat Plain Carver, and I have his uh, web address there. I'm going to kind of round that just a little bit in here. There we go. And I'm going to come down a little bit more with this. Now I'm just going to come in here and just hit that just a little bit right in there, okay? See that? You don't have to do that. You can just have it straight. But I wanted to hit that just a little bit. And then let's make this, let's come up with this a little bit. 